I'd spent two days researching Vittorian Till for the the breakdown show. I know. And I, I, me- I messaged you thinking, "Oh, I hope he's seen this because he's in the middle of doing a uh, doing a breakdown for it." I was. It was like it was just the, finished. It was the evening of the second day of my, of research, and I was sitting there with my iPad, like putting the clips together, sitting stretch on the floor in the gym, and uh, and V was upstairs, and she just sent me a message. She just sent me a <laughs> screenshot of it, like, oh. <laughs> it's all in the bank. Well, yeah, yeah, so exactly. For next time, yeah. but it's uh, the Mate, thing the is, I didn't change it till yesterday. I don't think I on their website. Yeah, uh, it's it's unfortunate because it was it was an interesting fight, and there were a lot of good talking points on it. So I hope it does happen at some point. But this, I'm kind of I'm kind of not I'm kind of not as interested in Kevin Holland as I was before the uh, the Derek Brunson fight. Bloody more interested in him now. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm just like, you know uh, what? I think whether he likes to admit it or not he will have seen that criticism and he, you know, he's, you know, he's hinted at the fact he's seen it and read about it and listened to it. And I think, I think he can definitely, he can win this. I think he's, it's set up for him to win it. I don't think Vittori is, if it stays, I find Vittori a little bit mechanical, like he's super athletic and my God, he looks strong. Mm. Like I can only imagine what his stats are in the gym, but he looks, he looks strong, thick, athletic, um, I better be horrible to grapple with. He's very stiff though. Yeah, yeah. but he's mechanical, isn't yeah. he? He's a bit robotic and he's in his very stiff. He's like this. This there seems to be so much tightness across his midsection, yeah. and it's like this. He throws. He throws his. He throws his left, but he kind of doesn't even fully rotate his body, and you can tell how uncomfortable yeah. it is for him because he uses the he uses his right arm to like elbow back, to like pull his shoulder round. But like, when I, sometimes I watch him, I I wonder how he's done. As good as he's done, because yeah. I mean, he's got a good chin on him. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't get hurt. He's hard to hurt, isn't he? He is hard to hurt, and he's super thick around mm-hmm. his neck, and you know that must. But I think maybe that's that. Maybe that lack of flexibility there is a benefit. He's just got the to stiffness it, you know I mean? instead. He just, yeah, just fucking takes it. Yeah, a bit like Vandalay. Vandalay was the same. He was a bit. He, there was a, his motion from one punch to the next was a very limited range of mm. range of movement, and Vittori is the same. I, I I do think that he's. Uh, I do think he had a much better shot with Darren Till taking him down, beating him up, working on his neck than he has I think with this Holland. is a problem. I think this is a problem for it's him. It's a I much more difficult yeah. fight. Like Darren Till's very good and I would say Darren Till's striking understanding and applications higher than Holland's but he doesn't have the same variety mm. and variety can be a problem with someone like Vittori because they're, they're quite rudimentary in everything that they do but effective because he's tough and durable and well conditioned it's, it's almost the opposite of the last time I spoke about Kevin Holland is I think his unpredictability is re, is his main thing in this fight mm. because Vittori is relatively linear he's quite single shot sometimes yeah. he'll throw you know he'll, he'll throw very sort of rarely throws larger combinations I think he's got a reasonable reasonably good jab um but I th- yeah, I think his unpredictability is going to be his his major sort of w- winning point on this on this fight. Mm. I think it's going to be tough for for um, Vittori. The the other thing as well is, I can think of times when I had a fight. Like I remember I remember fighting in Japan and getting disqualified for the <laughs> for the groin kick, calling Ian Dean up at Cage Warriors and being like, "You've got an event next week. Get me somebody on the event. I don't care who it is, Anyone. but I want a winning record." And I showed up that next week feeling so much better. Yeah. Because like last week I was I was in this same environment, you know. And it, I mean, when was Kevin Holland's last fight? It was a couple yeah, of weeks not, ago, right? Yeah, not long ago at all. I think he's got a point to prove. I think he's, I think he's put himself in this twentieth. I think he's put himself up for this fight to to prove a point. Yeah. You heard of the sad clown paradox? No. It's like it just maybe after the last time we spoke about him, I saw how he sort of behaved. I just thought. Um, we we chatted about it. I just thought there's got to be some. It seems like this is like a. It seems like this is a. It seems like this is something that would be talked about in psychology. And sad sad clown paradox is using humor to mask you know, like what your sort of your true feelings. And it, it made me think he was he was behaving the way he's behaving because it's easier for him to fail if he's behaving like that. Mm-hmm. Whereas if he takes it really seriously and he fails, then he has to deal with the fact he he might fail. Yeah. Like. I am not Dr. Ollie. This is not a uh, coming from a qualified psychologist, but I just thought it was, it kind of made sense Quite in a, a 
in a you know in a superficial manner it sort of, yeah. it sort of makes sense I know what you mean but no. this would be I think this is a massive opportunity for him and I yeah. think he, I really do think he can get a big scalp here and sort of derail Vittori a little bit well, I mean that's the thing is like Vittori's coming in with momentum mm. and it's like it's almost like like the opportunity that he had with Brunson has almost represented itself and he yeah. can kind of run it back with someone that's maybe not quite as difficult to deal with as Brunson yeah, because he's not going to have the same. He's not going to have the same wrestling, is he? No. And Vittori may not, v- Vittori, I think, would have probably wanted to grapple with Till. I don't think he'll want to grapple with Holland. No. P- purely because of the unpredictability of it, he's going to feel like he's going to be able to take his shots better, and back him up and wear him down. And uh, you know, maybe I mean, obviously, he was watching the Brunson fight, thinking to himself, "I can do this to mm. Kevin Holland," and now he has the opportunity to do it. Um. If Kevin falls into that, you know he's got a good squeeze on that guillotine, yeah, doesn't he? Yeah. And Marvin. I mean, that's the one thing. Marvin does leave his head out a little bit. You know, he's mm. not got he's not got the cleanest of wrestling, but he's good in top position. And he's got a bit like Stipe, because he's got that short punching power. Like, he can hit you with five or six shots in mm. the space where somebody else would wind up and land one or two. Yeah, yeah it's interesting. I, I'm almost in some way surprised he took, took it. I guess he didn't... I guess he just... You know, took whoever like I'm. I'm in shape and ready to go. Seems like Vittori seems like he loves fighting. Like yeah, he, he does. He'd, he'd happily fight. Just you know, whoever's next, roll them in. Yeah. But I think I think it's a it's a tough one. I yeah. really do think it's a tough one. We start at the top of the card. We've yeah, gone, no, I'd gone backwards. Well, I'd scrolled right. all the way down you know. the bottom. But <laughs> you, want, you want to make your pick it seems for like this a huge one. card. I, I think um, you're going for Kevin Holland. Yeah, I think you? Kevin Holland will come back with a bang here. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 a good pick. It's a good pick. I, I I like Vittori, but I think I think toughness, conditioning, and durability is always limited when you get to the top five. Mm. And 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 I think when you start to get into that top five, then you start to realise that there are like Vittori would have felt it a little bit when he faced Adesanya. Like Adesanya was making him bite to things that weren't. Mate, that's you know. his blueprint. That, that that's Kevin's blueprint. And I, yeah. I think obviously Kevin isn't as sharp. See, I, I, that's that's the thing. I don't think he has that. I don't think he has that ability on the ground, quite possibly. Mm. But I don't think he has the ability to program an opponent like that. I think it's the unpredictability is a benefit, but that's unpredictable for Kevin Holland as it is for right, his opponent. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like he's not planning it's not the like unpredictability. No. Unpredictability. No. Yeah. Because Marvin got picked apart by Izzy, didn't he? Yeah. Pr- pretty much standing. Comfortably. Like he was, he was having his way pretty easily. Yeah. Yeah, okay, now I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. And the, the other thing that concerned me as well is that talk of, ah, I'm just here to have fun. I'm not really interested in being a champ. Like now, yeah. you, like you've, uh, you've you've put that psychological spin on it, but the fact that he was saying that after the fight, I'm like, ah, oh, really? Yeah. Like, like, are you, I don't like, know. Yeah. I mean, we'll see. This could be, you know, this could put, if he wins this fight, that's a huge scout for him. Well, for both of them, really. This yeah. is a good... This puts them in a... He's still got to move up the rankings if he wins this one, right? So where, yeah. where is it? So Vittori's at six. Holland's at three at uh, ten. Yeah. So so if, if Holland beats Vittori, he's, he's still moving... He's still up right behind Darren Till, effectively. What would you... What? Which way would you sway if Till was still in? I would be leaning slightly towards Till, I think. Mm. Cause it, for similar reasons. Similar reason. I think he's just way too sharp on his yeah. on his stand up. 